And of course, because if you are Fireflex, you are the company. Because Fireflex is more than just a name or a logo or a label or a set of buildings. They by themselves mean nothing. It's the people who work in that building. You give it its heart, its personality, its space. Because without you, there's no company. The building can't do anything, the label can't do anything by itself, the logo can't do anything by itself. So any vision that you have, you, the workers, the management, the staff, you are the only ones can make that vision happen. So if you want to move forward from there on, it's quite the same, we have a new place to go, we have vision and so on, but that's for them to do. No, no, not for them to do. It's for all of us to do. Because the company is really you. So, you want to get bigger, you want to get better, right? How do you get bigger? How do you get better? But the first thing you remember is that we're living in a changing world. The whole world changing. And whether you're in San Bernardo, Cold Street, Paro, or Belinda, you are part of that change. And you can't say, well, boy, that is them changing. I know that. that. Uh -huh. If you don't get involved with the change, you'll be best behind. So the whole world is changing. You just have to. And you just got to the job. Your community changing. Your wife changing. Your husband changing. Everybody changing. And you have to deal with that. Even the children are changing. This is boy doing homework and stuff. Say, Daddy, how was I born? The father can't go. He said, stop, go to. He said, I can't do Daddy. Why don't you go? Daddy, another question. How was Grandpa born? Oh, this is on the stop, go to. The boy said, can't do Daddy. Right, you want me to go? Uh, he said, Daddy, one last question. How was Great Grandpa born? This is on the stop, go to all of them. You okay, can't do Daddy. Right, you want me to go? Go to bed. So I said, boy. I wonder why you ask all those questions. Go to the book, open it, and there the child has written. There have been no sexual intercourse in our family for two generations. <laughs>